Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Holly, and today I'm going to share with you a recipe for chicken parmesan stuffed bell peppers. And I'm going to put the complete recipe in the description box, but you're going to need some shredded mozzarella, some shredded parmesan cheese, and any type of marinara sauce. I'm using the Pioneer Woman. It tastes pretty good, so that's the one I'm using, but you want marinara sauce. You also need chicken broth. You only need a half a cup, so you do not need a whole carton. This is just what I had on hand, and I'm using the reduced sodium one. Uh, some salt, some pepper, and you're going to need about, I think it's three cloves of garlic that's minced, and also a little, about a tablespoon of fresh parsley and you also want to have at least um, one chicken breast that you've cooked thoroughly and that's cut into little pieces and if you want you can also use chicken that's already um, frozen in a bag that has the crust and everything on it I'm just trying to do a healthier version of it and you will also need four about medium size um, bell peppers, medium to large. Now once you've thoroughly washed all the bell peppers, you want to go ahead and cut them in half. So take a knife and cut it straight down where the stem is and you want to leave the stem on so it keeps the bell pepper intact and then just go ahead and start to remove all the seeds and I took a knife also and just cut what I could out if I couldn't rip it out without messing up that half of the bell pepper because you do want to keep it intact so that when you go to, to stuff it with the filling um, nothing spills out and then after you get all these seeds out you can wash it and then dry it thoroughly and I also used a spoon to just kind of scrape out some of the edges and to kind of scoop out some of the seeds. It was a lot easier doing it that way also. Now once you've cleaned all the bell peppers, go ahead and put them in an um, oven safe casserole dish. And you're, the next thing you're going to do in a medium sized bowl is just go ahead and add two cups of the mozzarella cheese, a half a cup of parmesan cheese, the three cloves of minced garlic, and one and a half cups of the marinara sauce. Now start to mix everything up and then add one tablespoon of fresh parsley that's um, diced or chopped and then mix that in really really well. Go ahead and add some salt and then add some pepper to taste and just make sure you mix everything so everything's incorporated really well. Now go ahead and toss in whatever chicken you're using. Just make sure it's cooked and just mix it really, really well. And it's gonna be thick. So what I did was add about a tablespoon or so of a little extra marinara sauce. It just helped loosen it up just a little bit. It's still thick and not soupy. And then once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and uh, start to fill the bell peppers and I just took a regular spoon and just started to fill each bell pepper up. Mm -hmm. 
Now you want to take about a cup of the shredded mozzarella cheese and start to cover each of the bell peppers. Use as much or as little as you'd like. And then I took the chicken broth and I'm just taking a half a cup and you're just going to pour it into where it's on the bottom of the pan. You don't want to get it into the bell peppers, but just add it to the bottom of the pan and that's going to help steam the peppers to cook it thoroughly. And then I just took some aluminum foil and put it over it, baked at 350 for about 55 minutes to an hour. And you want to take the foil off and just kind of let it um, brown a little bit. And then that's it. And you have some delicious stuffed bell peppers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like it, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell and that will notify you when I post new videos. I hope everyone has a blessed day. Thanks again for watching.